Hi, I'm Ava, and I'm high school junior in the year 2048, and this is my school. You old fogies are probably surprised. Where's the building, you say? Where is your computer screen? <laughs> we haven't had a physical building since, like, at least 2035. But that's okay, because honestly, my mom tells me it was awful. We live in the middle of nowhere, so she had to sit on a bus for ages just to get there. And then the actual building itself was so underfunded and run down that mom says it was like being stuck in a dirty, stinky jail with no air conditioning. My building is much better. My building's in here. It's an AR set. <laughs> That's augmented reality set to you. It's like the great, great, great grandbaby of something that came out about the same time my mom was born, the Oculus Rift, though much sexier. Mine is issued as part of my education. You just put it on and bam! You're in school. Well, technically, a 3D computer-generated space that I, I mean, my avatar, can walk around in. Whatever physical movements I do outside, my avatar does in here. I can turn my head here in three dimensions, jump up and down, all kinds of stuff. We even have PE, though they make you check that your real room is clear of tripping hazards before they let you log on. There are all kinds of built-in apps, too. I've got my personal assistant who, if I have any questions about where to go or what to do, she can help. I've known her since I was like five, and she knows me pretty well. I've got dictionaries, an encyclopedia, an anatomy model, my coding reference library, and of course, my assignment drop box. My classmates? Most of them are also in Colorado, because it's the state system. I've never met any of them outside, though. They're all about my age. I heard that researchers figured out it's socially beneficial or something for us kids to learn with our peers until we reach college. Which isn't to say that I only learn with kids my age. We go on all kinds of trips and meet everyone from kindergartners to PhDs, even old fogies like you. We get to work with them too if it's something we're interested in. Speaking of which, our extracurricular activities are pretty rad. One of my friends is helping in the lab of a researcher working on pharmaceuticals, and I'm signed up to shadow a geriatrics doctor as she does her rounds. I did it last year too. Pre-med is totally my favorite subject. Anyway, yeah, since I'm in high school now, I get to pick many of my classes, though of course we still have those core classes that we have to take. Let's see, this semester I'm taking all kinds of cool stuff. First thing in the morning, I have social studies. Last week we got to do an AR reenactment where we visited ancient China during the Three Kingdoms era, which is pretty cool, really different. Then second period is chemistry. Our avatars get to play with simulated chemicals. I bet that it's as good as a real thing. Then third period is math. I'm at the highest level in our system, so next year I could take a university level class if I want to. On Monday and Wednesday, Friday, fourth period is geography. We go on field trips most days and get to meet other students from all over the country and the world. We also create our own presentations to show visitors what it's like in the great state of Colorado. Fourth period on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I have pre-med. As I said, best class ever. Then after fourth period, it's lunch break. I get up and stretch and grab something to eat from the kitchen. I usually chat with my friends while I'm doing this. I can leave the audio on and they're usually good to chill. In the afternoons, it's RWR. You probably know it as reading, writing, and rhetoric, or uh, what did my mom call it? Uh, language arts. Right now we're exploring Gilgamesh, which I totally don't get, but Mrs. Gonzalez is okay. She lets us build digital media products instead of writing papers, so long as they follow the rules of rhetoric and have a thesis statement, the three body parts, and a conclusion. See, Mrs. Gonzalez, I've been listening. Then, sixth period, it's physical ed. Ugh, I hate phys ed. They make us run and jump and all kinds of stuff, and they talk about the importance of maintaining a healthy body in the outside world. Ugh, I know some kids live for it, but it's just not my thing. Then, seventh period, last period of the day, is Chinese. Our class is paired with another class in China. They're learning English. It's their first class of the day. 7 a.m. for them, 4 p.m. for us. We've been paired with them since freshman year, so we've gotten pretty close over the years. Actually, one of them, Z, is my kind of sort of boyfriend. Don't tell my mom. So yeah, that's a day in my life. My mom says she's pretty jealous of all the edutech we kids have nowadays, but for me, it's just school.